Okay, so we did a video a while ago. Um, not a while ago, I'm sorry, yesterday. And I, I posted it with me using the big hedge trimmers, the long steel extension type hedge trimmers, uh, doing a cleanup job down the road. Now, you're going to see the difference between using those long extension pole ones where you can adjust your height up and down and all that, and using your standard lower cost inexpensive ones. Um, a lot of mulch here, so you want to cover it up to make cleanup a little bit easier. You know the deal, you know what I mean, jelly bean. Try to make cleanup a little bit easier. A couple sheets. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Dry though, man, but gosh, I hope it rains. We're supposed to have like 30 or 40 percent chance of rain this afternoon. We need it. We need it bad. So now I can trim these bushes right onto that. The Echo HC152. Oops, I hit the off button. <laughs> Run. It's been a little while since I used this. to make my my shrubs look like a museum I always tell you guys that I like them to be soft cut soft so now we get the garbage can
when I go behind these bushes, between the bushes in the house, I'll go behind there, but whatever falls, I'll just chop it up with the weed eater and I just leave it as food. Hey, is taking the time to lay it out. If you, if you don't, because you're in a rush to get to the trimming, then you're gonna be sorry when you have to clean the mulch. So just, just take the second. This bush here, I'm still trying to catch up to that bush, so we're about there. have a little shape to them. That's all I like, man. I don't, that's it, that's enough. I don't want my house to look like Disney, all manicured with characters and crap, you know? I don't that. And even this is, this here is not really too necessary because you could blow this out, but you get some mulch coming out, so.
And so that's the bed sheet trick at this house. As you watch me do these with this little hedge trimmer, it's a lot more labor intensive, um, but it still gets the job done, so you can do it. Carve it up, baby. Carve it up. That's the look of thank God. Our yards are so dry. Things are looking really shabby. But um, we're done. Uh, so you see the bushes are trimmed up nice. I didn't have to do anything in there. We got it all cut, edged, and trimmed. Um, I actually used a Cub Cadet. 38 inch riding mower on all three of these yards and then I and I and my back and I push mowed her backyard and I push mowed her backyard but these yards were all done on the uh, with the Cub Cadet and they look really good don't see those anymore Yeah, man, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? 
And I hope it rains good because it's, you know, her yard's got a lot of dry spots too, a lot of dead weeds and stuff. This rain will really help. But look at Sable on Sable Life. Her yard's gorgeous. That's my best looking lawn now. Out of all my lawns, hers was the worst last year and now it's the best. But I didn't do her bushes because she still has Christmas lights up. So she's fired. She needs to take her Christmas lights down. But yeah, it's supposed to be circling all around us. We're going to get hit. A little cold front coming through, but it's not really going to be cold. It'll cool off a little bit, but not a big deal. But uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty right. Side hustle Sunday. Side hustle Saturday. Side hustle weekend. Side hustle done. Side hustle money. Side hustle honey. Tell me about the whistle. The whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Oh, 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 oh